I am Candice Bax Friesen. Today we're continuing our discussion with Aaron Sebash and discussing different topics uh, related to insurance. So today we're going to be discussing uh, our most valuable asset. Now, when I say that, most people think oh, your house, right? That's the biggest asset that you own. But really, what is our most valuable asset? Well, Candice, that's a great question. I think unequivocally our most valuable asset would be our ability to earn an income. If you look at most people, uh, regardless of their age, uh, where they will produce the most income into a household will be from their earned income. Yeah. And so, yes, generally we have a big mortgage and we have a house and people think, hey, like this is my biggest asset. But mm -hmm. their ability to earn an income for the next 10, 15, 20 years is really what's going to fund their family's lifestyle and fund everything for that period of time and mm -hmm. onwards. So how do you protect your income? That's a great question. So really there's a few ways to do it. Um, we want to make sure that what I guess what would cause us the inability to earn an income, right? What would eliminate our ability to earn that and that would be premature passing, right? So we want to look at some life insurance mm -hmm. uh, and even more relevant, which is a lot more likely would be disability, illness, you know, cancer diagnosis, mm -hmm. heart attack. Um, any, any sort of disability that's going to take us out of the workplace. And along with those, um, there's ways like critical illness insurance, disability insurance, and of course, life insurance, which can make sure that from a financial perspective, we're taken care of, our family's taken care of, and we, we don't have a big shakeup on mm -hmm. that front. Mm -hmm. Especially disability, right? Because, you know, there can be that period in your life where suddenly you're not working, and it could just be a few years, but when we're, we've got all the, these payments, you know, if you've got a mortgage and you've got all these different payments, uh, credit cards or loans or... Sure. Yeah, then it can be a lot to handle, right? It's always that cash flow issue. Yeah, and I, I think the question is, you know, anyone can ask themselves, how long would we survive if yeah. one spouse didn't have an income or both spouses didn't have an income? Yeah. And um, it wouldn't be a pretty picture too near down the road. Right? No, for sure. Yeah. And so making sure that if the worst does happen, right, because we always want to plan for the worst, mm -hmm. um, that that would be at least taken care of and, and mitigated from a financial standpoint. Yeah, yeah, great point. 